Christmas, how are you? Strap in, here we go. The first selection of movies we're going to be looking at are December releases opening through to Boxing Day. And I'm calling them my 12 films of Christmas. Because uh, there are 12 of them. Uh, and it's Christmas. Uh, so, as far as the first title of my list goes, not so much Tickled Pink as Tickled Burgundy. Yes, it's out this very weekend. Anchorman 2, the legend continues. Oh, hell yeah. Uh, it's the 70s, and ace broadcaster Ron Burgundy has signed up for a 24-hour news channel in New York. Steve Carell, Paul Rudd, Christina Applegate uh, return. Kristen Wiig, a new member of the cast. It's one of the must-see comedy blockbusters of not just this year, but possibly any year. Right, while we're in comedy mood, there is a great British ensemble cast in the Harry Hill movie, which is out on Friday. Simon Bird, Matt Lucas, Sheridan Smith, and of course the wonderful Julie Walters as Harry's nan. I'm sure if you enjoy TV, but the Harry Hill movie is a perfect Christmas escape, a change of pace. For my third pick in our 12 films of Christmas, top draw cast again in American Hustle. Oh, I saw this yesterday. It's freaking brilliant. Uh, very so good. Anyone seen it? Yeah. Oh, yeah? What do you think? It is, isn't it? It's so good. Uh, Christine Bale. Christine Bale, being funny. I'll let you breathe that in for a moment. <laughs> He's genuinely hilarious in it. Who knew? Uh, set in the high-stakes world of cons and feds, this stars Christine Bale and Amy Adams as a pair of con artists forced to work for the FBI. Jeremy Renner, Bradley Cooper, Jennifer Lawrence also star uh, for director David O. Russell, who uh, obviously made the highly rated films The Fighter and Silver Linings Playbook. Uh, and uh, there are some... Truly wonderful haircuts in it. Don't repeat that. But yes. Hey, play your part. Fine. You play your part. Did you ever have to find a way to survive? And you knew your choices were bad, but you had to survive. We were so successful for so long because we kept it just small enough. If you're that successful, how come you wound up in this room with me right now? Taking orders from me. Choices four, five, and six are a trio of films for Christmas that are already out in cinemas. Obviously, last year's first installment of Peter Jackson's new Middle Earth trilogy uh, was a spectacular box office hit, and it looks like the sequel is going to do the same. The Hobbit's The Desolation of Smaug is out right now. Obviously, Benedict Cumberbatch voices the stupendous dragon Smaug. Uh, try and see that one in IMAX 3D if you get a chance. Then at number five, I give you a digitally revitalized masterpiece. It's back in cinemas on its 25th anniversary. Cinema Paradiso as the classic Oscar-winning love letter to the cinema itself, in which an Italian filmmaker reflects on his childhood friendship with a local projectionist. I hear some agreement there. Who's seen Cinema Paradiso? It is brilliant, isn't it? If you haven't seen it, this is a perfect opportunity to see it. On the big screen, it is a truly, truly magical experience. All right, number six, another British film, uh, partly shot in the Gloucestershire countryside. It's called The Christmas Candle. When an angel visits a village candle maker, it inspires a miracle to occur on Christmas Eve. The cast includes Hans Matheson from Clash of the Titans, Samantha Barks, who of course you'll know from Le Miz, and John Hanna, as well as Leslie Manville. And uh, for uh, Susan Boyle fans, Susan Boyle's in it. Moving on then, uh, there's another British film at my number seven, uh, but in a totally different genre, uh, Walking with Dinosaurs, the 3D movie, offers state-of-the-art immersive experiences of dinosaurs ruling the Earth. Uh, it's a family story of an underdog dinosaur striving to be a hero, perfectly timed, of course, for these school holidays. I'm going to finish my December roundup now uh, with a set of delightfully contrasting films opening on Boxing Day. First of all, uh, it's fantastic to see Keanu Reeves back in action mode in 47 Ronin, a fantasy tale of honor, vengeance, stylish samurai warriors, and an evil shogun in ancient Japan. Stranger, what's your business here? I'm looking for a half-breed. Good luck, Samurai. Now, 
Uh, we have a handful of other films there to show you this evening, but back to the Boxing Day selections. How to Make Money Selling Drugs, a powerful rush of a documentary that will shake your views of the international narcotics trade, depending on what views those are currently, uh, and how illegal drugs are dealt with. And of course, Ben Stiller is back uh, behind as well as in front of the camera in The Secret Life of Walter Mitty, a warm-hearted fantasy in which Walter escapes his mundane office life by daydreaming of romance, heroism, and fearless action. Kristen Wiig, who we already know is an Anchorman too, plays his work colleague Cheryl, and Sean Penn crops up too in a brilliant role. And then there is All is Lost, an extraordinary adventure set on the Indian Ocean. Robert Redford stares death in the face when the yacht he's sailing on alone collides with a container ship in a storm. Expect awards, nominations to be flowing his way very soon. Although surprisingly not a Golden Globe, which I think a lot of people were shocked about. Ladies and gentlemen, uh, those are my 12 films of Christmas.